guys, how are we doing? Today I'm coming to you from a new destination, which is Sao Paulo in Brazil. Not been to Brazil before. I've only been to Buenos Aires down this way, Argentina. And when I went there, it wasn't a good experience. I was really poorly, but that was way before I was even vlogging. So yeah, hopefully my second experience in South America is a whole lot better than the first. But in terms of plans, really, I really don't know what there is to do. I'm not going to lie. I haven't had the time to sit down and research. Normally, I have a little look to see what suggestions people make on social media, and I just haven't had the time to do it. Even on the bus journey here, normally what I do is I try and gauge what's around, like look out the window, see what there is to do, make a mental note if I find something or see something that I want to do. But I fell asleep the whole bus journey back from the airport to the hotel. Yeah, I was so tired. So yeah, I didn't really get the chance to do that. That was at the window. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of research now to see what there is to do in Sao Paulo because it's never really somewhere I thought, yes, I really wanna go there. But I hear it's a really good trip. It's, it's what you make of it really. And that's the same for every single trip we do. So I think the plan for today is just go for some dinner. We arrived here in the morning. I think we got into bed at like 9 a.m. here. And it's three hours behind the UK, which is a really, really good time zone difference. Not major, and it's really easy to handle, which is fab. So yeah, I got into bed about nine, had a good four hour nap, which was so needed. And I woke up really refreshed, actually. Woke up to my phone buzzing, saying it needed charging. Went to go plug it in to find that my adapter that I brought does not fit the plug sockets here. So I had a bit of a mental breakdown very suddenly, so I thought, right, what can I do? Go to reception and see if they have an adapter. And they did. They saved my life, which is good. So yeah, that means if I didn't have an adapter, I wouldn't be able to charge my phone, my work phone, my iPad, my camera. Of course, that's most important for you guys to see what I get up to on this trip. And also my watch as well for work. So yeah, a lot of things would be missing from this trip if I didn't have that adapter. <laughs> so luckily it's sorted now. I also wanna quickly apologize as well because I didn't vlog my Larnaca standover. The reason for that, there is a reason, is because we had to do a COVID test on arrival and we were not allowed to leave our hotel room until we got the test results. We didn't get our test results until the sort of late afternoon and by that time we were going to have some dinner anyway so I did absolutely nothing apart from have dinner then we woke up the next morning really early to go for our flight and our flight was delayed six hours so it was quite an eventful trip but I didn't do anything and I thought there's no point in vlogging it just because I feel like I have to it would just be a horrible vlog and I didn't want to do that I don't like my content to just be crap basically so I thought you know what I'll just bring you a good vlog this time it's a six day trip. I literally am here for almost a week. It's a busy one because we are doing a shuttle flight up to Buenos Aires on one of the days. So it's one of the days completely pretty much cut out of this trip, but we have the rest of today, the whole of tomorrow, the next day we're doing the shuttle. The next day we have most of that day. And I think we're flying home for another night flight back to London, arriving on the sixth day. So it's a, it's a busy one, but we do have time to do bits that we wanna do. So I really wanna make the most of the time. The other thing as well, I was kind of hoping for, so basically in Larnaca, because I had nothing to do, I was like, right, what can I do? So I didn't have a bath. That was one thing rolled out that I couldn't do. So I thought, let's have a look on Netflix, see what they've got. And they had a series on there that I've been meaning to start for so long. I saw it on the American Netflix and I was like, do you know what, do I like download it and archive it to watch it another time? But I just never did. And I started watching it in Larnaca and that is The Good Doctor. So it's about the autistic boy who wants to be a surgeon and a lot of people don't believe in his ability. And it's just really, really, really good. So if you want something new to watch, if you have the access to that series, go and watch it because it's a good one. Thought they might have it on the Brazilian Netflix and they don't. So yeah, that's kind of gutting. But I do have other things to watch. I've got loads of stuff on Netflix, YouTube, all that good stuff. So I don't want to spend the whole trip just in bed watching stuff there. That's one thing I don't want to do. I also really want to try and get to the gym at some point because, yeah, I've been slacking on the gym. Normally I go to the gym really often at home on my days off. Try and go on my first day off after a trip because that's when I'm feeling most motivated to go. 
but I just haven't been going. I haven't gone since November, which is awful. I think the first thing people think when you say, I'm gonna go to the gym, is you're trying to lose weight, which is not the case for me. I go there firstly for mental health reasons. I love the way I feel after coming out of the gym. It's just so motivating and gets you pumped. I love it. It's just getting to the gym is the hard part. But also I wanna build up muscle because my job is really physically challenging. I have to walk up inclines. I have to push things up inclines. I do a lot of lifting and I'm not a very strong person. So I've just been going to the gym for the last year or so to try and build up that muscle. And I have seen a difference but I just don't want to get out of this routine, which I think I already have done, but hopefully I bring it back on this trip. I also forgot to add, it's supposed to rain. In fact, it's supposed to storm the whole time we're here, like summer storms. I've just heard a big crash of thunder outside, so I think it's just about to begin. It doesn't look good outside either, look. You can see that massive gray cloud over there. Guess who decided to get room service? Me, I decided to go for a mozzarella and basil pasta and it smells and looks insane as well as a Pepsi as well. So I'm gonna tuck into this and I think I'm gonna get into bed because I am shattered. It's been a long night. I'm gonna have to be really, really quick because my camera is on 2%. I forgot to charge it last night. But I've been up for about an hour now. I've been sat in bed, but just watching stuff on my phone and trying to get the willpower to get up. Um, but yeah, we had a few drinks last night downstairs in the lobby. Others were going up for food, like Brazilian food, but it was a, a lot of meat-based food they were going for. And I wasn't really fancying that. So I thought, you know what? Come back to my room, grab a pasta, which was so good, by the way. I might have to get it again at some point on this trip. Um, but I was told it was good anyway by other crew that I met with downstairs as well from other flights. So yeah, tucked into that. It was really good. Had a good 12 hours sleep. I obviously needed it. And I knew if I went out as well, I would just not be, you know, enjoying it because I'd just be focused on being tired, which I didn't want to do. So tonight I'll definitely go out for some food. But in terms of plans for today, I really want to get to the gym. I might go about lunchtime and see what that's all about. But... Yeah, I, again, I still haven't really had the chance to look to see what there is to do. So I'm going to do that now before I go to the gym to see if there's anything I can walk to. But I've also heard the area isn't particularly safe. I mean, I guess you could say that about anywhere, but I'm just a little bit cautious about going out on my own. So that's one thing that's kind of holding me back. But at the same time, it's like if I don't want to do anything, I don't really want to be too pressurising on myself to get out and do something. So, yeah, I'll have a little look to see what there is to do and... I'll come back to you once my camera's charged. I just want to say in advance that I am really sorry that this vlog is going to be super boring. I have just come to accept that and I've been trying to figure out things to do all day. I had a look at doing a bus tour maybe, but I don't really have that much time today. And the reason for that, I'll explain what the plan is for the rest of this trip anyway. So yeah, I've been trying to suss out what to do that I can do in the short space of time I have today. The bus tour would take too long. It's really quite expensive as well. So I was trying to think to myself, do I really desperately want to go and see Sao Paulo? I always said to myself, it's never really somewhere that if it popped up on my roster, I wouldn't really be overly excited, but I'm always open to seeing new places. So that's how I came here with the same mindset of, you know, intrigued to see what it looked like, what there was to do. And for me personally, it looks okay it looks a little bit run down to me but maybe that's just the area that we're staying in maybe i need to get out one day and see more of it but yeah i didn't really come prepared with research in terms of what there is to do even from other crew there doesn't seem to be a great deal other than eating really and drinking which you know it's it's fun to be social and eat and drink you know different types of food from all around the world but that can be quite repetitive and boring when you have a six day trip, which is what this is. So yeah, I'm really sorry that this isn't gonna be jam packed like some of my other trips have been that I have vlogged. You know, I look back at some of my vlogs sometimes and I am absolutely amazed how I managed to cram so much into a short space of time. Don't know how I do it sometimes, but I definitely do it for the places that I really want to go to. 
But like I said, this was never really a place that I was desperate to go to. So yeah, I don't wanna beat myself up too much about not doing anything. Plus also I don't wanna put too much pressure on myself as well to do stuff for the vlog. Also just in the back of my mind is that I have my Maldives next week and I wanna save every penny I can to make the most of that trip because it's gonna be an expensive one because the Maldives is expensive. So that's also in the back of my mind. So I'm not fussed about not spending too much here so I can have the best time when I'm there next week. So you have that to look forward to if you're not necessarily enjoying this vlog. <laughs> but my plan for the rest of today is I'm gonna do a room workout because I was going to go to the gym, but I had a look at some photos of the gym and it wasn't really my kind of gym in the sense of it doesn't really have the equipment that I often use. So it seemed pretty pointless. And also you do have to wear a face mask when you're at the gym. So yeah, it's pretty much gonna be a negative experience if I go down there. So I thought, right, what else can I do to just feel a little bit active while I'm in my room? And that's to do a room workout. So the gym that I go to, Pure Gym, where I, where I live, have an app on the phone, obviously on the phone, duh, where they have loads of different workouts that you can do. So like core, arms, legs, like in the space of your own home or wherever you are without gym equipment. So I thought that might be a good thing to do. I really wanna work on my abs and my arms because I focus a lot on my legs. My legs are absolutely fine. It's my upper body that I need to work on. So I'm gonna do a bit of that, I think, in the comfort of my hotel room. Then I'm gonna have a bath or a shower, probably a bath because you know me, can't really have a shower if there is a bath available, you know? Not everyone loves a bath. A lot of people think a bath is dirty, which kind of is when you think about it, but I just feel so relaxed after a bath and it's a bit of me time, which I love. So yeah, gonna have a bath, then get ready. And we're gonna meet at 4 p.m. for some dinner. So yeah, I think we're gonna go to a restaurant around the corner someone has recommended have a, a bite to eat over there and then we do have to come back a bit earlier because tomorrow I'm doing a shuttle flight to Buenos Aires. You can see why I don't really have a crazy amount of time considering this is a six day trip. So tomorrow is mostly spent doing that. The flight is a lot longer than I actually thought from here. It's like two and a bit hours apparently. I thought it was less than an hour. Don't know how that happened but yeah I got to spend about six hours on a plane tomorrow, plus traveling to and from the airport, which is a long way. So yeah, there's a lot to consider there. Pretty much the whole of tomorrow is ruled out by the evening, which we'll probably go for some more food and drinks, you know. And then the next day we have most of the morning, I might go and see what the free breakfast is all about if I can get myself out of bed, because I probably won't, but I really want to try and get out of bed for the breakfast in the morning. And then we are getting picked up early afternoon for the flight home, so yeah six day trip it doesn't really feel like a six day trip because yeah it's quite jam-packed with a lot of working definitely working for my money this trip so yeah that's exactly why i can't really do a whole great deal without you know spending too much time outside the hotel which i can't really do so i'm going to get on with my workout now i also want to practice a bit of my polish as well because that's one of my resolutions is to to practice my polish as you would have seen in my new year's eve vlog um, yeah, I'm, I've been working on it for a while, but it's it takes a lot to learn a new language, especially Polish. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Maybe do a bit of that in the bath, actually. It'd be quite a productive way to use my time. I guess. So I like to wear it when I'm away and I can do with my H&M black pinafore dress with pockets which pockets makes everything better and just my plain black sliders on just again comfort but nice for a meal as well because I don't actually know the place to go into so I don't really know how fancy it is or what the, the situation is but I'm gonna head down now and meet with my crew. <laughs> I 
currently half past four in the morning now. I've been awake for half an hour and I managed to get ready in the space of a 20 minute side minute video, which is pretty good going, I think. So I'm gonna have some breakfast. I've got one of my chocolate brownie fiber bars, which I didn't know what the situation was with breakfast around here and whether I could go and get breakfast easy. So I just wanted to bring something with me just so I could have in the morning, especially for times like today where I've got an early start don't really have a choice to be up and I need to kind of eat something to give me some energy throughout my day. So I'm going to eat that, have some water because I'm really thirsty but I could really do with the tea, which I can have on the plane so I'm excited to have that. And um, yeah, get my uniform on and go. Um, it's going to be a long day, I'm not going to be able to get any footage because it's going to be full on from start to finish but we should be finished I think about 4pm so it's not too bad. We do have a little bit of the evening we can have to ourselves but I really don't know what I'm going to want to do at that time after a busy day. We'll see, but I kind of want to make the most of it because it's our last official evening. So I'll see what everyone else is doing, I think. Just make a plan from there, but I'll see you when I get home. I might get some footage of Buenos Aires if I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but we shall see. <laughs> So there's me saying I was going to have a quiet night and I did end up going downstairs to sit with my crew because I went to go get my Uber Eats order from downstairs, my McDonald's, and as I walked past the lobby I saw everyone at the bar and I was like, I didn't realise how many of them were going down for drinks after the flight, I thought there was just going to be a couple of them. So I did get a little bit of FOMO and I thought, Do you know what, let's go upstairs, eat my McDonald's get some clothes on, sort my hair out because my hair was absolutely crazy after drying it and washing it. It always goes like a bit wavy and frizzy. It's not as bad as it was, but this is kind of the aftermath of washing it and it just being totally natural. So I thought I need to do something with that. Threw some clothes on and I went downstairs and just had a bit of social time with the crew because I've really got on with a load of them and it's, you know, it's nice, a nice part of the job really is being able to be social and be able to make friends that way and get to know people because you cross paths at some point or another along along the way as your cabin crew so it's it's just nice and I love it it's really one of the perks of being cabin crew so I didn't want to waste the last night of the trip just sat in my room I contemplated I, d I decided let's go downstairs but it was also a good thing because I met a lovely lovely little four month old golden retriever downstairs who was called Chloe yes we have the same name and we really we made a bond she was so cute her paws were like too big for her so she was like flopping around every time she walked she was just chewing everything and playing with everything and playing with everyone it was so cute and oh she was so soft as well so that was a nice little treat for going downstairs as well so yeah i, I literally just had one drink and spent the whole time chatting to my crew and just literally talking about life talking about like what we get up to on our days off, what our hobbies are, what our likes are, our dislikes, like general get to know each other chats. But it just it leads to conversations that you would never imagine. And that's just one of the, the great things about being cabin crew is we just love to chat. It's just, it's, it's crazy how long we can chat for. It, it's a real skill. Um, but yeah, I had such a good time and I'm ready for bed now. I'm going to possibly watch something on my ipad just to kind of settle myself into bed i'm gonna try and wake up a bit earlier tomorrow because pickup is in the afternoon it's not like the evening like it is normally this way going backwards in time it's normally a bit later but it's afternoon pickup tomorrow so i need to get some sleep I want to try and wake up for breakfast i'm not going to promise that i will um, but I'll, we'll just see how it goes and i really kind of want to go get a pedicure don't really look after my toes in the sense of painting them. Of course, I cut them and try and 
give them a little bit of pampering every now and again, like moisturize my feet because I'm on them all the time at work. But I never paint them because I just don't really see the point. But I kind of think to myself, it's like seven or eight pound for a pedicure, which seems nuts not to go for that opportunity so like i said depending on what time i get out of bed if i can be bothered i might head down the street and go and get one so we shall see i'm not going to put too much pressure on myself at all tomorrow because it's a long flight home and i want to be nice and rested at the same time rather than worrying about doing stuff so yeah i'm gonna put the camera down before i continue to ramble on because i'm very good at that typical cabin crew really and um, I will see you in the morning. You're probably not shocked that I didn't make it to breakfast this morning. I just physically couldn't get myself out of bed. And I'm not even that hungry. So I thought, what even is the point? What's the point in taking on calories I don't need? So I'm gonna take them on in my room instead. <laughs> so I bought a load of snacks for me, actually. I bought some cheese ball crisps some like of the brownie fiber bars that i think i showed you that i was eating for my breakfast every day like just to have something when i wake up i also brought some like i think it's salt and pepper crackers and some little pots of philadelphia um so that was really handy and a handy find in asda so i bought some of those bits to have here just i thought if i get a peckish in my room and i don't want to venture out or order room service it's just handy to have something with you so I, I tend to try and do that on most trips that I do so I've got quite a bit left so I think I'm just going to have a bath eat that in the bath and by the time I've had that it'll be time to get ready to go yes I've been that lazy this morning it's not good but did it need to be done before a 12 hour flight yes yes it did so yeah I think I might try and make a bit more of an effort with my makeup today since I've got a little bit more time I don't know See how I feel after the bath. Probably, knowing me, I'll be too lazy to do it and it'll be a shock if I do. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna grab my snacks and just have a, an hour or two in the bath to myself before this long flight home. But I am ready to go home now. Like, I've had messages off of Vic and my mum and that saying like, where are you? It's been so long. It's been literally like a week. Feels like I've been on a holiday, but working at the same time. But it has gone quick at the same time as feelings like it's gone slow but I've had a good time so I think that's probably why it's gone quite quick really but I feel like I've made the most of the trip with the energy that I have had and I feel yeah I feel glad that I didn't do too much because I have all of that energy to, to use on my trip to the Maldives next week oh my god cannot believe I'm going there next week so excited but I don't want to overshadow this vlog with my my hype for my trip next week so yeah, let's get in the bath. <laughs> oh, that's how much hairspray I used in my hair. That has gone in my nose. Um, but anyway, I am ready and I did decide to do a bit of eyeliner. Don't know how long it's gonna last. I've never done eyeliner like this for work before. So it's a bit of an experiment. My eyes get really leaky sometimes, so it might be an absolute disaster, in which case I do have some wet wipes with me that I can clean myself up with, especially for break time. I reckon that's going to be the moment of disaster, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, when I get back to London, I have a few things to do and then I can head home. I think I can do them. It's just sorting out like worky bits that are a bit boring. It's a shame we have to leave this wonderful weather because it was dreadful until today. Today it's really sunny with like the odd bit of cloud, but it's beautiful, a beautiful temperature anyway. So gutted to be leaving that, but it will be good to get back home. I probably won't see you for another 24 hours, but I will update you when I get home on the eyeliner situation and how the flight went. Hi Brazil. Thank you for having me. So I am back home. I have been home for maybe 30 minutes. I was supposed to get the bus back because I got the coach to work and I was going to do the same back home. But one of my lovely colleagues lived just down the road from me and offered to drop me home. So I'm home a lot earlier than I thought I would be, which is fantastic. And she was an angel for doing that. Um, but yeah, basically, I have been on the go since... Well, we left the hotel like 11 in the morning, Sao Paulo time, which would have been 2 p.m. here. So two hours, two and a half hours 
off of being on the go for 24 hours with two hours sleep so that's great we had a little bit of an issue before we took off in sao paulo so we were all ready to go we left stand we were taxiing to the runway and all of a sudden this massive rainstorm just happened and the clouds just fell <laughs> it was quite incredible really one minute it was really hot sunny blue skies as you would have seen and the next it was just peeing it down with rain I was looking out the window to see where we were on the taxiway and all of a sudden I just saw this massive flash of lightning and the plane just like lit up it was incredible the only thing with that is we couldn't take off because the storm was so strong that it was not safe to take off so we sat for ages just swirling swirling <laughs> driving i guess around the runway constantly like down the taxiway attempting to take off again and then not taking off because it still wasn't safe joining the back of the queue there was loads of aircraft waiting to waiting to take off after the storm so yeah it was very eventful eventually we got in the air about two hours later it took only two attempts to take off so it wasn't too bad um, but I was a bit worried that on our second attempt we still weren't going to be able to take off but luckily the skies did clear a little bit and it was fine and then ten and a half hours later we arrived in London um, a little bit later than we wanted to we did make up a bit of time the flight was a little bit shorter than planned um, but yeah all is well I am back home and my eyeliner lasted relatively well my face is looking really oily though, like I'm really suffering at the moment with oily skin, like, especially in flight, like normally for normal people it does the opposite and it's the dry skin that people suffer with. I'm dry from like my neck down, my head up I'm just oily, 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 oily and because of that my skin is just suffering so bad, like I've had this spot, I've got one here, I've got one under here I can feel that's really sore, I've got one come up here, like I can't understand what's going on with my skin at the moment and I think I'm going to have to go back to the doctor because I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to deal with it because my skin, I look after it so well, I make sure it's so clean. I know that doesn't cause spots but it's obviously a bit of a factor. I really try and look after my skin and it's just the results aren't showing anymore so I think yeah the doctors it is and I'm going to have to chat with them about it but yeah, it just reminds me of when, I'm a te when I was a teenager and I really struggled with my self-esteem and my skin. It was absolutely awful. I don't want to head back that way because that would just completely revert all of the progress I made with it. So hopefully we can sort it out. But anyway, I'm going to take my makeup off and I've, al I've already unpacked actually. I've I'm well ahead of myself. So yeah, take my makeup off. Hair's already out. I did wash my hair and shower and everything before I left Sao Paulo so I don't really have to do any of that either so pretty much I'm gonna yeah take my makeup off have something to eat and probably go down for a little nap I think I deserve it but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed I know I didn't do very much it was a very do nothing vlog but sometimes we need that once in a while uh, but if you did like the video don't forget to leave a like down below as always also pop on the notification bell so you get notified when i upload i'd love to have you subscribe as well that would be great fun to have you around and i will see you in my next video Bye.